Hey girl, how you doing? What y'all doing? Spirit ain't let me put no music on. I kept trying to uh, cut my son's laptop on, but it's doing all of this dumb shit. Oh, now I want to pop the fuck on. What y'all want to hear, y'all? I'm talking like I'm live. Because I don't really want no friends. <laughs> I really want no friends. This is a slow, dumbass computer. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Probably got so much shit on it. I've been watching porn. I was like, no, let me shut up. Anyway, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? This is about to be a quick read, y'all. Get some quick juice out here on y'all, because my dinner in the oven, baby, listen. It was a day today. Today was a day. It was a day. Y'all remember my little goddess deck? Legendary goddesses? Oh, I made it spin, honey. Well, they back, okay? And they got something to say. Yo, Dre, I got something to say. Fuck the police! And on some real shit, fuck the police for killing old dude like that. That was a fucking emperor, you know what I'm saying? He was fighting them niggas. Like, nigga, what the fuck? do shit. How did the traffic shot stop turns into some goofy ass shit like that? Did that man getting killed? Whole time the man never swung on the officer, kicked the officer, punched the officer. He just kept flipping the nigga like he was playing. He, he was he was he was African, so it was like normal for him. I mean, sure it's normal for any man. It's all men do to me is wrestle and talk shit and buff their chest. And then the female, the cat come along. The feline come and smack the shit out of them, then they scared. Clarity, oh, Inde inner peace, justice, and rhythm. Oh, y'all ain't got no rhythm though. But that's what came out. <laughs> Spirit, what you got for Cancer Leo Cups? Okay, there you go, there you go. Inner strength. Ooh, 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 that inner strength is out here today. Okay, I'm. I need out here for that inner strength for y'all. I'm going to do one in the beginning and one at the end. Look, cleansing. That's what y'all about to do. Y'all about to be cleaning that pool. <laughs> so now cleaning your mind, soul, and spirit, honey. You got to clear it off. But can y'all see the cat? Okay. Excuse, excuse me, the cat. Because y'all know she went off on me and I, I ain't about to be playing around with this cat. I mean, with, with the cat. Because the cat... That ain't no hoe. That's another spirit. That's another dignity on her own. And she don't be playing. She'll run up or get done up. Give me some more energy for Cancer Leo Cuts. What's the energy for Cancer Leo Cuts today? What's the energy? I can't believe them officers did that to that man. Like, I, well, yes, I can. It's just, I just can't believe he fought that long. He, he, he seen the motherfuckers trying to kill him. Don't even listen to what they say. I don't want to hear it. it just bring more outrage. Now the whole dog gone. All of the Zulus about to come over here and fuck up these Caucasians. I don't. Mm -mm, no. Nope. What's the energy of cancer here? I need to get to say Leo Cups. Mm -hmm. What's the energy of my cancer Leo Cups here in ancestors? We had to get that frankincense out here so we can get some sense. You know what I'm saying? Cancer Leo Cups. First one that popped up was Cali, 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 Cali. So we're going to go with Cali, Cali, Cali. But, um, Tromo Nungo came out. <laughs> and, um, Saddam Hussein did too. <laughs> Bro, now this, what, 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 why is that funny to me? And then, Sierra Bulaka Bulaka came out. But she was face down, so. She's not winning. I just flipped over my whole glass. Messing with y'all. Yeah. Messing with y'all. Trying to get a little situated here. I had a whole big look. I'm going to show you. Look. Look, it's broke now. <laughs> I'm going to set this stuff up tomorrow so y'all can see the entire tapestry. 
because it's just like the fat, uh, what's that? Oh my God. Mayak, Blessing, um, Isis, you know what I'm saying? It's like Mayak and I, Isis is having a conversation, you ask me. See, that go Isis. And you see Blessing and her. I mean, okay, I got to get a Blessing one because, um, going down in the DM. But I'm going to fix it all up. I'm going I'm to get it together, y'all. I promise. I promise I'm going to get it together. After, after this uh, stay of relaxation, I'm probably going to come back with all kinds of tea. I'm going to take a deck just in case I do want to talk to y'all, but I don't know because I'm going to be going to get my feet rubbed. I'm not going to be spreading my boo cheeks. Squeezing them, how I want them to be squeezed. Cause you know when you pay somebody, they gonna do what they you tell them to do, not what they want to do. I'm about to pay somebody. I'm about to get them massage. I just feel them touching my body now. Okay. Right. I was thinking about getting a, a facial, right? And then the next week going to get a massage. Yeah, just just so I can keep finding time, or every two weeks. <laughs> You know, yeah. Every two weeks, get that me time in, relax my mind, studying and all this stuff I be doing, having so much going on. Clarity and truth for Cancer Leo Cups. Talk. Let's talk about this inner strength my Cancer Leo Cups got. My goodness. The Four of Swords. Look who that is. Be prepared. That's what that mean to me. Somebody watching. Somebody is coming. Somebody is waiting. Somebody is resting up for a battle. Somebody cannot get shit out their head. It's like they laying there, but they cannot stop thinking about the bullshit. It's like they got that one eye open. Like, I'm watching you, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So, what's the energy of my Cancer Leo Cups today, Spirit and Answer? I don't know which way it came out first, but it is here. The Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords. I about seen the Ace of Swords and I flipped it. So yeah, I think it's the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Either way it go, it's an ending, okay? Ending slash betrayal. Somebody feeling stabbed in the back because they lied. I mean, not lied because um. Honestly, you know what kind of just what just happened to me? It just said the truth will set you free. That's what this is saying to me. The truth has set you free. The truth has finally came for you to be clear that this person is this person has betrayed you possibly for the last time. Somebody possibly has been betrayed for the last time. You betrayed somebody for the last time. But it it, it, it looks like it has set you both free. Somebody's possibly devastated behind this too. Somebody probably never expected this to even happen like this. What was this betrayal spirit? Oh. The Eight of Cups. Somebody went somewhere, walked away. Somebody left something. Can y'all see? Something has happened with this betrayal. Somebody has walked away with this Eight of Cups. Somebody has left. Or somebody came in. Somebody came in and did something. Oh, look. What is this? The Four of Wands. Somebody betrayed a union, a, a marriage. A, a, a left, not, not left. Somebody has left a marriage, left a union, left a situation behind. It's over. This could have been great. This is probably something that was great. And it, it, it's, it's messed up now. After this betrayal, after this, this stab in the back, after this defeat, you might as well say, after this ending, with it, this is like a final ending. It's like not no going back after this. There's no turning back after this ending. 
Somebody tried to fuck up somebody's home life. Somebody was in a home life, a home setting, and somebody came in and fucked it up. Or somebody betrayed this, this foundation. Why is the Ace of Swords here? What What is the Ace of Swords here for? Somebody is possibly, a, it's the star in reverse. You know, mirror, mirror on the wall. Looks like somebody is starting to realize the, tr the truth has set somebody free. Somebody has now realized if someone is hopeless, the situation is hopeless, someone is hopeless, some, something is hopeless. They're not getting their wish. They're realizing whatever they're wishing to have or whatever kind of family or whatever union they're going to have, they're not going to get it. It, it. It's never. It's not meant to be. Sometimes it's not meant to be It's because it's not meant to be with this person. So you keep forcing somebody to love you a way you want to be loved and it's not happening because it's not meant for them to love you, baby. This is not the one. I hate to tell you that. Hey, uh, star in reverse. Tell us about this uh, wish in reverse. Why is the star in reverse, Spirit? Why is the star in reverse? Three of cups. Mm -hmm. And a five of coins. The magician at the bottom. The three of cups. It looks like somebody's celebrating someone's hurt. Somebody could be celebrating or happy that somebody is um, in a cold, honestly, in a dog house. Don't got nowhere to go. Somebody is happy that they didn't did this to somebody. Somebody uh, forced some type of division. Somebody forced. Somebody did something, y'all. This just sounds crazy. And this is surrounding inner peace, though. Hmm. Somebody, it do look like somebody is happy that they, it's like, it's like this. Somebody came in, and like I told y'all the other day about this Ace of Swords, it's forced. Somebody is coming in by force or the law has came and forced this ending. Spirit justice, my eye, has came and end this motherfucking bullshit with somebody. But I don't think this is what somebody planned. It wasn't what somebody wanted. Somebody, it wasn't their wish for you to find out the truth or it wasn't your, their wish for your wish for them to find out the truth. This three of cups, they're celebrating. They're happy. They're having fun. They're with their friends or the uh, whole neighborhood is talking about this shit. You know what I'm saying? That this person is in a, is out in the cold. Don't have nowhere to go. They can't go towards who they possibly want to go towards. Somebody, this is look, this is like some intentional. This is some intentional, intentional, intentionally hurt. Somebody has intentionally did something. What else we need to know about Cancer Leo Cubs series? What else happening? What else is going on? What else, what's good going on with my Cancer Leo Cubs? What else is happening? The Knight of Wands is in reverse. Some type of bad news is headed your way or some type of bad news is coming. Somebody is coming to tell something. Somebody is coming to force something possibly. This is a lot of forceful energy. Somebody is trying to force something upon you. Or somebody is possibly trying to cast a spell and it's being blocked. Because this is a witch. And she's in reverse. She's not able to cast the spell that she thought she was able to cast. It's being blocked. Her spells are being blocked. But this is some type of bad communication coming in. You're probably about to find something out very terrible. What, what is the Knight of Wands energy here for? Why is this Knight of Wands here, Spirit? Come on, now. Come on, now. Why is this Knight of Wands here for in reverse? Oh, God 
these parts frustrate me. The Cancer Leo Cups. The Two of Wands. I said something is coming. And the Chariot in Reverse. Oh, Corella DeVille. That's you, bitch. That is you. It's a mad bitch out here. It's a mad bitch. Look at this bitch. This bitch is mad. Look. You want to know why she mad, though? It, it, this could be that bitch that got mad. She Somebody didn't want two people to hook up. She, she probably mad she not getting the attention that she used to get. She mad things not going her way. But that's the mad ass motherfucking bitch right here. This chariot in reverse. Reckless. And what do Corella do? She can't drive. Corella cannot drive, y'all. Everybody know Corella DeVille cannot drive. Somebody has is seriously planning a strategic move. But it's being they, they planned something. That's what they did. Somebody planned to do something. And it backfired, possibly. It's not going the way they wanted to go. Somebody possibly got in trouble with the law by being a sinkhole. Doing some stupid shit and got in trouble with the law. With this Knight of Wands, they were very stupid and ignorant. Uh, uh, impulsive. Y'all know I can't stand the impulsive. And, and then they were, this is the thing about whoever this Knight of Wands was in this Knight of Wands energy. They were... They were egotistical to me. You know how they say someone is like overly confident? It's nothing wrong with being confident about yourself, but make sure you are in the uh, <laughs> position to be that confident. And it looked like somebody stopped them in their tracks. That's what happened with this chariot. They got stopped in their track. They thought they was about to go in. They was about to boss up. They was about to act a motherfucking fool, okay? Out of control, acting deranged, being a, a maniac, a sociopath, going crazy. I'm going to kill you. Bitch, you mad forever. That's what they thought they was going to do. And they thought everything was going to work out fine. Look at these two wands clicking together. They thought everything was going to work out fine after that. They thought they was going to prevail after that. And then, no, it did not work out in your favor, boo. They didn't have the clock that they thought they had. Clarify this chariot in reverse. Why is the chariot in reverse? The ten of wands in reverse. Somebody want to release this burden. The chariot, the chariot in reverse. You want to re release the fact that this person is not coming. So this knight of wands did this stupid ass shit. And it caused the chariot to not want to be bothered no more. They moved, they, they went in another direction possibly. What what is it? No. <laughs> and they and they want to release the burden. Or this chariot simply could just be releasing re releasing a burden, period. She, he or she is moving so fast away from this situation or this knight of wands energy that she she can't even see straight. You going so fast to let this shit go. You don't want nothing to do with it no more. You getting the hell out of fucking dodge. You're tired of this person. Just because you in reverse don't mean you fucked up. It's just mean you moving by any means necessary. You could be moving. You could be doing whatever the hell, but you got to go. Well, or you probably just pissed the fuck off about this Knight of Wands coming in. You could possibly be pissed the fuck off. This person is coming in and now you're on a skiggity boom, okay? Because now you about to get in the chariot and now you're ready to return the energy that was given. This bitch rode in on a horse, right? On A knight on a horse. You coming after them in a chariot, okay? And this is like, uh, what's this nigga name? Pharaoh. Ramses. Ramsey going in after Moses, okay? Except it's going to be vice versa. Why is it going to be vice versa? Ram this person came in after you and drowned. But now you coming in after you them. And you're going to release all of this. <sighs> what else my Cancer Leo Cups needs in now? But you really could just be a mad-ass bitch right now. And I, I think you possibly could be with the shit. 
I don't know what happened. Spirit, spirit, what happened? Well, spirit, what happened with my Cancer Leo Cubs? I think you with the shit, though. I think you 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 didn't finally raise your eyebrow and you about to... You're not coming off your chariot. You're not coming off your chariot, though. But you is coming up off the porch. Like, oh, shit. Quint coin. Look at you, bitch. Look at this shit. How she just so come spit her ass over there? Medusa! Medusa, I found ya! This Medusa, y'all, from the rescuers down on under with her bougie ass. All she cared about was the fucking diamond. Clarify this queen of coins. The tempers in reverse. Ooh, this bitch is unbalanced. Medusa is unbalanced. Queen of wands, keep trying to bring her ugly ass out. Baby, ain't nobody thinking about you. This temperance is in reverse. The Queen of Wands could be a, a, a Sagittarius. You never know. But this is an unbalanced, unconnected, disconnected uh, Queen of Coins. Damn. Tell us about this temperance. Why is temperance in reverse for the Queen of Coins? Ooh, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. It looks like somebody that fucked with they, they, they something they hold dear to them. It's like they're they're it's like they're sick in the stomach because they have a, a a sick passion for somebody. This looks like a sick obsession for somebody, or somebody has a sick obsession for them. But then that Ace of Wands came out halfway to the bottom too. Clarify this Ace of Wands, Spirit. Clarify this Ace of Wands. The Hangman and uh, huh? the Four of Coins. Ten of Coins at the bottom. It's the hangman and the four of coins is somebody is seeing things more clearly. Like it, it looks like they're more passionate about what they want and they're holding on to the decision that they chose to make. Somebody possibly is not waiting on something anymore. I don't think the hangman is waiting no more. I think he's holding back. She's holding back. Whatever they holding back their passion. I think no, I feel like they're they're focused on their creativity at this time. I, I I'm feeling all types of stuff with this, y'all. I'm feeling too much stuff and I don't even want to feel this stuff. Because this person seems this this ten of coins. This ten of coins is seeming so freaking unbalanced and fickled in their head. It's like they're letting go and holding on it and it's like he about to explode, though. Mm, I don't know. That's some thick ass shit right there. Something is serious bothering me about that. Somebody, somebody could be just holding on to the, your energy no matter what. Somebody, oh, someone's holding on to something for money purposes. This is what the person is doing. Somebody is sick in the head. Somebody is a, has a lustful spirit for money, a, a, a greedy spirit for, for money. And that's what the Queen of Coins is. And that's what Medusa was. Actually, she, she, she loved money. Her passion is for money. Whoever giving them money. All of this re revolves around money. And somebody is giving the money. Queen of Swords and a Two of Cups in reverse. Wow, oh, golly, what's happening in this reading? Somebody's holding on to a relationship even though it's over. It's like a, a disconnected relationship. Bro, this is so confusing. Is this why this person in this doggone hangman energy? Because I'm confused as fuck. It's like 
somebody's in and out, somebody's blocking, somebody's want somebody back, somebody want to leave, somebody's looking at somebody else, somebody stand for the money. That's what's possibly, that's what's happening. Somebody stand for the money and they could possibly be staying with this queen because Queen of Swords because she's given the money. The Queen of Pentacles coins is given is staying because of the money or the position or the amount of money she has gave to this Queen of Swords. Somebody could also be focusing solely on their career now. They're just solely focusing on saving and stashing their doggone money. That it's like you made a decision. You got a, this queen of coins possibly that made a decision that she's not about to deal with nothing no more. She's not tolerating nothing no more. She has a flame on for something. She has a flame for something. And the flame is for her motherfucking bad. Mm. I think this, this temperance could be possibly, you know, a, a, a world angel, a star angel or something like that. It could possibly be a star angel that has been hurt, betrayed, lied to, manipulated, wounded, a wounded star angel, earth angel, I said a star, whatever, an angel. She could be an angel and she was hurt and betrayed and manipulated and lied to. And now her passion has grown for the pinnacles. This, this could be a woman that has turned strictly into the cash, okay? I know that feeling. I'm not going to lie. I did. It's like when you go career, all that love shit is just like bleh, to you. I'm trying to tell y'all. So tell it. Why is this queen of swords? Wait, who is this? Nine, nine of cups is here. Wish fulfilled. So you know what? This toxic ass queen of swords, she don't give a fuck if it's love there or not. This bitch want money. What is this? I think, I think, I, you know what? Something is real crazy here because it seems like a family, somebody intentions was to destroy a family. And it not only destroy a family, but destroy two, 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 uh, situations here possibly. And for some reason, I believe it's this Knight of Wands planned on destroying something. And it backfired on this Knight of Wands. It's just like the same thing that happened yesterday, y'all. Something is backfiring on something. Somebody thought they was coming in with truth and clarity and all of that old bullshit. And in the end, they wound up playing a self. Because somebody still... The, the Queen of Swords wound up winning. Possibly. Or she wished fulfilled. Now she probably can get rid of this nigga. And then this Queen of Pentacles is probably holding on to win career. So whoever the extra person is or the person who thought they possibly won, she could have a, a, a happy moment right now with this Two of Wands energy thinking that she won until she find out the fact that she didn't. That these people are possibly still dealing with or talking to this person or giving this person that's out in the cold a safe haven. Somebody could be scared to come... Yes, this is what she tried to do. She tried to destroy true love. Oh my God. Somebody tried to destroy true love. This is a wicked, jealous, malicious, envious bitch. I don't care if you're a male or a female. You ain't shit. Whoever the fuck this is ain't shit. And the car just said you ain't shit. Because these are poor, unfortunate souls. These are people who has not did nothing to you. Okay? And then, if one has, the other one haven't. So you wound up destroying. You, somebody know somebody else is in love with somebody else too, though. Tell us about this true love card. Why is the true love here? I think I'm about to get another day, y'all. I can't get this shit right here. I guess I got to complete the assignment with this on the end. Damn, damn, damn. Tell us about true love. Clarity and truth on true love. Clarity and truth on this true love. Oh, well, shit. Eight of coins. 
Somebody want to work on their true love. Somebody really wants to work on it. Or this is letting you know your true love. You might meet them at work. But I think somebody wants to work on something with their true love. Give us another card for true love, spirit. The Knight of Cups. <laughs> Look, somebody want to take you out. Somebody want to go by. Look at Gaston. Somebody that's like a little obsessed with you a little bit. Somebody might like you a little bit. It's probably who you least suspect. Some Pisces, uh, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio could be a little obsessed on it. Or you wa you're working on your true love. And your true love could be yourself. Okay? Son, yeah, because you're, you're, you're going to be happy. You're looking for the happiness within. You're not looking for the happiness with someone. Someone keeps trying to find happiness with you. But they got other shit attached to them. You got that inner strength. Okay? That that Knight of Wands don't have. Possibly the Queen of Coins don't have. Most definitely this Queen of Swords ain't got shit going on. If she's happy and content in a relationship that isn't even a relationship. Something wrong with somebody like that. I don't even know what the hell wrong with these people. I don't understand people that act like they're in a relationship and ain't nobody claiming them. This is the four of cups in reverse. Some type of missed opportunity. Somebody's going back after this missed opportunity. I said somebody want to work on things with their true love. Is it this you going back after somebody else that you fucked up with because you was playing around with somebody who was fucking around with somebody else? Or somebody is coming back after you because they see you as their true love. They want to work on this situation. They want forgiveness. They want you to trust them. And then it's Knight of Cups. Like, they about to give you a love offer. Somebody is trying to offer you some type of love. I don't know. But they, they're coming to rectify what went wrong. It could be an equal reciprocity with this eight of coins. Somebody really, really is trying to give and receive from you. Somebody is seeing now what their true love is. Or you're working on yourself to receive true love. From someone. Isn't that sweet? Look, look, baby. Look. Somebody probably gonna send you a message of an offer. A Taurus a Libra is gonna send you an offer, a message. I said somebody wanna take you on a date, but be careful of this situation because this motherfucker might come in and try to love bomb you. But I wanna see. So who is this Queen of Swords spirit in reverse? Judgment is the Queen of Swords. Spirit, who is this Queen of Swords in reverse? I'm not taking that. Who is this Queen of Swords in reverse, Spirit? Who is this chick? Because this can be something. It could be a judgment that went against somebody. This is this has a lot to do with somebody's psyche. This Queen of Swords in reverse. She she's in some decks. I, I read a deck that called her just a bitch when she in reverse. Flat out bitch. Nothing else to a bitch. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody who's so mental, mentally toxic and knows how to pray and manipulate. Look, you see how uh, Ursula, you see how she prayed and manipulated a situation to get what she want. And in the end, it all backfired on her, right? It all backfired on her. Because now it seems like she killed two birds in one stone, possibly having this Knight of Wands do her dirty work. Now, the Knight of Wands could have been a friend, or it could have been a third party, y'all motherfucker. Who knows? The Queen of Wands kept trying to come out, but somebody tried to do the dirty work. Somebody went and did the dirty work, and then look. Look how the Queen of Swords sat back and watched it. She willed it. She willed it. She kept a door open long enough for this Knight of Wands to feel comfortable enough to contact her. Or have some type of interaction with her to tell her things. Because she did the stupid ass night of wands didn't even know this bitch that manipulated her dumb ass to trick her out of her own motherfucking nigga. Now she out in the motherfucking cold with the nigga too. Girl, get the fuck out of her. She did trick this motherfucker into going to do something that caused her getting get uh ending. 
around me. Oh my God, people are dumb. The Queen of Swords is willing this whole motherfucking thing. But what she cannot do is stop true love. Somebody has to stop it within the two. Somebody has to let this blockage happen. Somebody is trying to prevail over this. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else, Spirit? What else? My cancer Leo person, you know. I think this Queen of Swords is a bad motherfucker. She didn't fuck. She didn't manipulate it. The Knight. The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands dumbass fell for it. Aries, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Gemini fell for this. I mean, Aries, Sagittarius, the Je uh, Leo fell for that dumbass shit. Actually thought that, ooh hoo, aha, aha, ooh hoo. This bitch, this bitch is winning. Secrets, fear. Somebody is scared. Somebody is scared of something. Somebody could be scared of this motherfucking Queen of Swords. <laughs> so who in the moon energy spirit? Here, here goes Jafar. Who's in this moon energy spirit? Somebody sitting down, contemplating the page of coins. That person is trying to make that offer. Somebody is hiding the fact that they want to make an offer to an empress. Ooh. Somebody is scared to come forth and make this offer or communicate an offer to this damn empress. They're scared. I really think they're scared. Mm. Who is this spirit? Who's hiding this moon energy? Who's in this moon energy? Who who's in this moon energy spirit? Herophine, Taurus energy. Who's in this moon energy? Judgment, the King of Swords. Whoa. The Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Damn. Spirit, who is in this moon energy? You got the seven of swords. No, the six of swords. Oh, somebody who's trying to leave. So this is what they're doing. Somebody is hiding the fact that they're trying to leave a situation. Okay, to go towards the ace of cups somewhere else. Okay, what is this one? Oh, oh, I said somebody is hiding, sending a message to the Empress Sinai. Because somebody is hiding the fact that they want to move towards who they feel like they want to start this new beginning with, this new love beginning, right? With this fucking Nine of Coins, Nine of Pentacles. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God, somebody is in love and wants a new beginning with the Nine of Pentacles. Or, 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 someone has moved forward. Somebody has moved on to self-love and became the Nine of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Honey, that's that. And that's possibly what had happened because that's that inner strength. Somebody got that inner strength to move forward and find happiness within themselves. Like, this is not your shit. You're not supposed to be involved in this shit. You better than these dusty motherfuckers. This some dusty shit. Weak bitches and stupid bitches. That's what's going on over here. Bunch of weak, stupid bitches all arguing over it. It's not one masculine in sight. He then did the work and look at him. He, he, he done. The only masculine really here is this damn Knight of Cups. Outside this Knight of Wands. But at the same time, that could be male and female energy. But at the end of the dog all day, all of them stupid. Anybody who tried to, because it looked like it was an attack made possibly on this chariot. It probably was an attack made on her. It was an attack. It was an attack to destroy something. And somebody thought they was going to prevail over that attack, but they did not. 
give me the conclusion to this reading, Spirit. What's the conclusion to this reading for Cancer Leo Cup? I really believe that you got the will to go on. Whatever happened, who whoever tried to attack you or whatever, you found the will to go on. And you became, it's like you became the, uh, the nine of cups. You had the inner strength. These women, these other women don't have the inner strength. Look, justice just, didn't I just, didn't I just fucking say this shit? Did I just say it? I literally just fucking said it. Justice is here with the Queen of Cups. God damn it. You found the inner strength to go the fuck on and carry on to love yourself. You was able to control your emotions. Although, baby, you was ready. You was fucking ready. You was ready. But you was able to control your uh, emotions like a real divine feminine, okay? You humbled yourself. You humbled your spirit. And that's what spirit gave you the strength to do that. Spirit gave you the inner strength to humble your soul and move forward. Don't even react to this shit. You're not even reacting to it. That's what's driving everybody it's crazy because everybody know once the empress lead the building, once the divine feminine lead the building, it's not no fucking building. Yes. Spirit, tell us. Look at, bitch, look at, look. You left. You went. You ghosted, actually. Don't nobody know where you at. You ain't talking to nobody. You a hermit. Or a hermit that came along. I said a hermit. A, a Virgo that came along. You got a Libra here. You got the Queen of Cups. You know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then you got this Virgo here. And then you got this Queen of Coins down here at the bottom of the deck. That still can be Virgo energy too. But this person has come along. It's like he's like, here, come come to mama, baby. Come to daddy. I got you, baby. But you went, you you left this situation and you went to go within and do some work. That And you got the inner strength. You went within and got your inner strength. Period. And that's just on period. Tell us more about this conclusion, spirit. It's like you're going to forever get the justice. Baby, look it. You ended this cycle. I am so proud of you. I really am. I'm so freaking so, I'm proud of you. You ended this, this tragic cycle. Look, there's three major arcanas in your conclusion. You over it. You are so over it. You're not interested in these people, this situation. These people are interested in you. You're not interested in them. Look, good news is coming in for you, though. You about to get some type of good news, some type of good message. Something about to come in. Somebody about to say something. And it might not be none of these, but some type of good news is coming in. What is this uh, scribe of specters coming in? Fire. A tower. It, it, it fell. Somebody is still trying. Somebody's possibly trying to contact you, Spain. Right. No, this is a hangman. Yeah, somebody's about to contact you to try to hold on. Somebody wants to hold on. Somebody don't want this to all the way be over. Somebody's trying to fight it, the, the, the ending. But I don't think it's no coming back from this ending. Somebody trying to fight this ending, y'all. You might be kind of happy about it, but I don't really think you're going to be happy. Or they're happy about it. Why, why is the Spanx here? Oh, okay. What the end? Fine, because like I said, they're not going to be happy about it. I don't think you're fucking with them no more. I think you're over this situation. I think this is just, this was your final, like, cleansing of whatever this shit was. You... Spirit brought you this clarity or made this cycle happen for you to 100% be done, okay? Because cause Spirit called everybody out for you, okay? They called, she, He called Justice out, okay? He called Justice and he called the Hermit out. He, he really did. He, spirit really, she, it, whatever, the, the grandfathers and the grandmothers, they really, really came. They did this how they did it because they probably was trying to show you before and you wasn't listening. It's not your opportunity. I mean, it's not your responsibility to take on these people's energy. And then you could have ego within yourself 
that cause you to keep playing these motherfucking games, you need to get rid of it. And that's just on God. For real though, you need to let the ego out of this. And this is what their problem is. Their egos is caught up in this. So they choosing to fight over somebody who they really should be releasing so they can prevail over this person. Because whoever this masculine is, he's in hiding. He's in hiding and he's wrecking his brain for the simple fact. He's caught. He's busted. And he's mad about this ending. hes I don't think he's mad about the ending with this doggone Knight of Wands. I don't think he's mad about this ending with this Queen of Swords. Whoever this person's true love was, that's what the fuck they mad about. They mad that they thought that they can sit up here and still have everything they wanted. But I really believe you said something to this person that just possibly made them feel like that it's no turning back at this point Callie Kippa let me read this one out she who wears the mala medley of skulls whatever around her neck shall never abandon you she shall be with you always lifetime after lifetime and ending tenderness and devotion conjuring that which would alienate you from your truth and your creative power trust is the effectiveness of your prayers and requests for her assistance have confidence in divine intervention and then i just say this i said spirit called them all out for you this was a divine intervention for you to let you know this shit is cap bitch okay this shit, it ain't toxic it's cap it's over it's done if you find a way to go back down this goddamn road, I'm telling you how I told the bull. I hope the ancestors find a way to have mercy on you. I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I hope they do. Because after all of this, and you fucking with a masculine that can't show their fucking face, and you turn your goofy face ass around after all of this spirit gave you, and go back and fuck with somebody like this, Um, have confidence in the divine intervention no matter how dire things may seem you shall transform a negative experience into a positive one that har harmonize your soul your focus is to turn whatever happened positive what they say Put that hurt into the gym. Put that hurt into studying. Put that hurt into cleaning your damn house, bitch. Because your house probably nasty. Because you're sitting in the corner moping and crying about some shit. Put, some, put that hurt in starting your doggone business, okay? Stop dwelling on this situation. Put that hurt into something that's going to bring you wealth and abundance, okay? But not, not just financial abundance, just abundance to your health, to your soul, to your mind. And this homegirl, ruby red with the divine juice of life. Oh, it feels me. She nourishes the body, mind, and soul with vitalizing pleasure. Well, I told you I'd go bust a nut now. Life and joyfulness. Goddess homegirl restore self-esteem and self-awareness of your intimate value especially after a time of painful rejection or disappointment oh god okay through her blessings the desires of the heart can find fulfillment in new ways she brings divine energy from the manifestation of wishes her present is an indication of inner power Yes. To restore yourself and attract what you need into your life. Oh my God. This is about to make me cry. Like, oh, yeah. This is, this is really, really like deep to me because I 
I just said you need to put that um, focus into work, school, studying, whatever you need to do. Cleaning your house, whatever. Put it in your kids for all I fucking care. Just put it back into yourself. Dig down. Because it's something about the way she leaning over. Because you know, sometimes stuff take you from the gut. Okay? And then in some some um, places, a rabbit is our spirit angel. And I had started researching that too. And you never would think the rabbit is as intelligent as it is. We've been lied to about animals, y'all. This is about to bring in everything you've been looking for, everything you've been wanting. All your blockages is about to be unblocked. All your love life is about to go out the window. You about to have, you about to be high commodity, okay? Everybody is about to be looking for you because now you didn't release something. And you manage to 100% balance your emotions and you know what true love look like, okay? You know what it look like now. And all these sister girls is here to help you. <sighs> Number six, and I'm out. Shit, I'm about to eat my dinner. Ooh, look, look, here she goes. She arises instant and intensively responding to a severe threat to your well-being freedom and scar fulfillment Ooh. her fierce form causes the impure to tremble and the pure of heart to move close she is fur furious in her wrath against injustice whoa baby dispense with thoughts of vengeance Pray for mercy for all beings, especially those trapped in patterns of consciousness harmful toward, toward themselves and others. Open your heart to her heart and allow her to attend to all matters of karma while you remain true to your higher self. Then I say, you came off the porch, but you didn't go nowhere. Did not say you came off this fucking porch, but you didn't go. You didn't go engage. You didn't get involved. Okay? You just cut the cord. You cut the fucking umbilical cord. And this is the hardest cord you ever had to fucking cut in your life. Probably. This probably was. I'm talking about as far as a, a lover or the, some, some shit going on. A family member. This could have been a sick ass mama, crazy ass auntie. And you had to cut them bitches off. You know what I'm saying? That's like that movie, uh, that, what is that movie? When they show you how to meditate, that cartoon them kids used to watch, Dragon Ball Z or something, when he had told him to, to reach the lot, highest level of meditation, you're going to have to disconnect to everything of this world. And he was getting higher and higher and higher, but he couldn't go that high. He fell down as soon as he started thinking about, I think, his sister. And he told him, you got to just detach from her ass too. And that, that was hard. And you know what a lot of us, it's hard for us to de detach from our children. Mm -hmm. You got to let them go. You, you're not about to take them to, take them with you to the, to the new world. Who told you that? Who told you they was going with you? They about to go be somebody else's kid or somebody else. They might be your mama. Who told you they was about to be with you? But you got to do it. You got to do it for you. Damn. This was deep, y'all. I might go have a moment of silence after this. This is something you got to do. Y'all got to do this for us. For real. Cancers, Leo, Cups. We got to do this for us. Stop hindering yourself. Stop allowing yourself to be hindered. Please like, share, subscribe. Peace and love, y'all. Oh, check out the description box. Join the raffle. <laughs>